Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this Amazon Basics Standby Ups. This is their 600 volt, 360 watts. And the Ups stands for Uninterruptible Power Supply. So I just took everything out of the box. It does come with this cable. We're gonna plug it in, but first we've gotta hook up the battery around back. So you're gonna flip the unit over. Now we're gonna take this cover off, but there is a little number two Phillips screw that we gotta take out. Okay, so once you take that screw out, then this should, this is gonna slide, here's the battery. Okay, so this comes with the battery already hooked up. Okay, so here's what the battery looks like. It's 12 volts, five amp hours. And this is a maintenance-free sealed lead acid battery. So if we look at the outputs, 120 volts, five amps, 50 or 60 Hertz. And total output current is 10 amps, including surge outlets. Okay, so I've got the cover back on. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in now. Okay, so I've got it plugged in. Now it's time to turn it on. This is the power button. You're gonna press this for two seconds. That turns it on. And you'll see that this green, this green light comes on and you hear like a relay click. Now it does recommend to let it charge for eight hours before you start using it. Because once you've got it turned on, it's gonna charge this battery up in on the inside now. Okay, so I wanna explain. These outlets are different than these outlets. So there's some wording here. This says backup battery and surge protection. So anything that's plugged in here will be powered up when you lose power. This is surge protection only. So if it's something's plugged in here, you have surge protection, but when power goes out in your house, the battery's not gonna power these outlets. It's only gonna power these outlets. Okay, so let me simulate what I'm talking about. I've got this light plugged into the battery backup and surge protection. So when power goes out in your house, so I'm just gonna unplug the unit. This plug still supply 110 volts to light up the light. Now it is gonna beep at you to let you know that you've lost power. If you wanna turn that beep off, press this fast twice. So it beeped twice. Now it's not gonna beep at you, but it's gonna flash at you to let you know that you've lost power. Okay, so now let's plug this back in. And now it's gonna start charging and it's gonna power these outlets and these. So now let's move the light over here. So I've got power to the light, but as soon as I lose electricity in the house, the light goes out because it's not, these do not have battery backup. And if I take this and move this over here, I do have power. Now I'm, I'm gonna turn that alarm back on. So press this twice. It beeped at me. Now it's gonna beep to let me know that you've lost power and that the backup battery is running. If you wanna turn this off, press and hold that and then it turns off. It will kill the electricity coming out of here even with it unplugged. Then hold this again if I wanna turn it back on. And there it's back on. So now let's plug it in to simulate power came back on in the house. So once power comes on in the house, this light goes steady it stops beeping at you. It's only gonna beep at you to let you know, hey, you lost electricity and now the battery is running down. Now you do have to turn it on for it to charge that battery. So when you first get it, plug it in and turn it on, make sure that green light is on steady. Let's go over some measurements. Left to right is about 10 and a half, up down is about three and a quarter, about six inches. So let's go over plugs. So from center to center on that one's about two and a quarter and then these, are about an inch and a quarter apart. So you can mount this on a wall. It does have some wall mounts. So there is a circuit breaker. If it overloads, if too much current comes out of these outlets, this will pop out and to reset it, just unplug what was causing it and then push that back in. The cord's a heavy duty cord and it is 62 inches long. I like that when it's plugged in, it comes off to the side. So it's gonna beep at you for some other stuff too. If it has rapid beeping, that means a unit failure or low battery. That means the battery is getting, you've lost power, the, the battery is almost depleted and it's about ready to turn itself off. A constant tone means you've got an overload. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it off, unplug some of the things and plug it back in and turn it back on. And that's when the power switch is on. So if the power switch is off and you've got a constant tone, that means a charging fault. And if the power button is off and you got a constant tone, it could be a failure of the unit. 
So here's the technical specs. Input voltage is 96 volts to 140 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. Output on those outlets is 120 volts AC. Now transfer time is eight milliseconds. So it does come with this other cable. I don't use this other cable, but it does plug in right here. And the directions talk about it. It allows it connection, communication between the USB port and personal computer. So if you got a software on your computer, it can monitor this ups. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.